guys happy friday and welcome back to my channel i'm like super self-conscious right now because i thought i parked in like not a busy area but in fact i parked in a very busy area and i'm sure people are looking at me like i'm crazy but here we are so i just got off of work and i'm running a couple errands i'm currently in the dollar store parking lot so sunday is father's day and it's also my little brother's graduation well technically he's already graduated from college a couple weeks ago but since we're all getting together on a Sunday I was asking my mom should we just do like a mini graduation celebration also with our Father's Day celebration and so that's what we're gonna do so I thought it'd be fun I want to get a couple grad decorations we're having it at our house and I just wanted to get a little bit of stuff and then I also have a couple miscellaneous items I want to get from the dollar store for our cookout then I'm going to head over to Aldi and I'm going to get the rest of the stuff for our cookout. And I actually don't need a ton of stuff. I just need some miscellaneous like hamburger buns, hot dog buns, like some stuff to make sides, like just a little bit of stuff. So I'm really hoping because I just did a huge Trader Joe's haul. I do not want to spend a lot of money, which is also why I'm doing Dollar Store and Aldi because I just know it's going to be the cheapest options. So I'm crossing my fingers. My goal is I want to stay under a hundred dollars. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. Although I actually don't think I'm going to take you guys in the store. I think we're going to do this like old school down and dirty grocery haul where we just get back home and I show you what I got because Derek's actually out on the boat right now and I really want to go. And I think if I can get this done quick enough, I could probably hop on the boat with him for a nice little sunset cruise on the creek. So that's the goal and yeah, let's go shopping. Guys, the dollar store didn't have any grad stuff. I'm so sad. What date is it? June 18th, so I guess it is kind of late in the month, but it's still disappointing. They really only had like two things that I saw that weren't even super graduation-y. Like it was like a tablecloth that said reach for the stars and they didn't even have balloons. And then I was like, maybe I'll just get balloons that are like, and I use colors like red and black, but they didn't have black balloons, they just had red balloons. And then at that point, I'm like, if you can't really find the stuff you want, is it even worth buying it? Like, I, I, I just gave up. I'm like, it is what it is. It's not in the cards today. So let's hope we have better luck at Aldi. So I'm gonna head over there now. All right, friends, let's jump right into it because I have a boat to catch. <laughs> Derek just got home and time's a wasting. There's the boat captain now. <laughs> okay, so I picked up some Monterey Jack cheese blocks. I'm gonna make this corn jalapeno cream cheese kind of hot dip in the slow cooker for Sunday. So I got ingredients for that, hence the jalapenos. I got some cherry tomatoes for salads. I got some strawberries because I've been on a strawberry kick. They've been really good this season and these ones looked really good at Aldi. <clears throat> I got some yogurts I like to have just honestly, like I don't really care what yogurt I have because I just throw it in a blender for a smoothie. So I picked up a couple of those, some fresh milk. I saw cotton candy grapes. And if you guys have never had these, make it your life's mission to go out and find them because they legit taste like cotton candy and they're so good. This is actually the first time I've seen them at Aldi. I've seen them and gotten them at Wegmans before, but honestly Wegmans is the only store I've seen them at. So I was pretty excited to find those. Cucumber green onions also for that dip and other miscellaneous things. I've got some romaine under there. I found my favorite Castlewood turkey breast. They have that at Lidl, that brand. So I was excited to find it at Aldi. Didn't know they carried it there. I got some more feta crumbles and I picked up some dish soap. That was actually from the dollar store. Um, you can get dish soap at uh, Aldi, of course, but it's actually more expensive. So I just needed a small bottle to tide me over until I go to the wholesale club and get my like big mango bottle dish up and then that frozen corn for that corn dip. I got some eggs, I got some soda since we're having people over on Sunday in case they want something other to drink than water. And then I picked up some hot dogs because my brothers do not eat smoked pulled pork or tenderloin, which is crazy to me. They're like grown humans and they would prefer to have a hot dog, which hey, I like hot dogs too, <laughs> but I would much rather have barbecue. The main thing that I went to Aldi for was actually rolls for all over barbecue and my favorite buns from Aldi, honestly my favorite buns period are from Aldi. They're these brioche 
hot dog buns. They also have hamburger buns. So I got these. They are so good. You guys all know what burritos taste like. And it's just like a fancy bun. And it's delicious. So I was excited to pick those up for Sunday. Also just replenish some of our normal stuff that we cook with all the time. So we were out of garlic powder. I picked up some more granulated white sugar. I actually love all these milk chocolate chips. So I picked up two bags of those because we're out of chocolate chips. I got some of their taco shells. And then I just bought a bunch of different chips. Um, I got the jalapeno kettle chips. These are delicious. I've had these before. The original. There's also a pack of mandarin oranges back there hiding. Those are actually my favorite as well from Aldi. I like mandarin oranges in general, but their fresh fruit, a lot of it is actually in grape juice instead of like a thick syrup, which I really like. It, I think it just tastes a little better than the fruit that's in the super goopy syrup. You know what I'm talking about. Um, also, sweet potato chips. I feel like I've talked about these before from Aldi, but I have yet to find sweet potato chips I like as much as the Aldi ones. And then for my corn dip that I'm making, I got two kinds of tortilla chips. I really wanted Fritos, like that's what the recipe called for, but unfortunately they only had the small Fritos. So I wanted to get a chip that was a little bigger, obviously it just makes dipping easier. So I got like the scoop kind and then also the round type. We're probably not going to need two bags, but it's fine. If I just like having more just in case and then we can always make nachos or something with it later on. And then also I picked up Dilly Bites, which also I love. And you can find them in convenience stores, but I've yet to find like the six pack that they sell at Aldi. So whenever I go there, I like to grab those as well. My last bag of stuff, I don't feel like taking it out on the counter because I'm so exhausted, but I just got some paper products. I got some napkins, some paper towel. I've got some tissues, some Q-tips. And then the other thing I picked up at the dollar store, which is a little hack part of my messy table. Oh my gosh, I need to clean. But I got some of these just aluminum foil trays because it'll just be easy for the pork, um, the pulled pork and the beef tenderloin when we cook those. Once they're cooked, we can throw them in there and just not have to have the mess and store it and serve it to people. This one got kind of bent up, but it's okay. I'll bend it back into shape. But this is a nice little dollar store find because these aluminum trays can be really expensive in grocery stores. So if you have the time or even if you want to stock up before summer, if you do a lot of cooking out, this is a great place to pick them up because again, they're just a dollar versus if you go to the grocery store, they're like a couple bucks. They can be pretty expensive there. I almost forgot to finish um, in closing up this video. We actually, after I went through my groceries and stuff, we popped on the boat and I was like, I'll just close up my video later. Also, we almost just got stranded on the boat. It was kind of stressful. Hence why like I literally look crazy. My hair is crazy. Thank goodness I have a hat on. The good news is we made it back. We didn't have to get towed back. Um, Derek's actually still outside looking at the boat and trying to figure out what's wrong with it. It was weird. Like the fuel line was fine. The fuel was fine. Like we had fuel, but the engine kept cutting off, but then it would cut back on and it, it was crazy. But I'll save you the details. We're back. We're safe. We're all good. Um, overall thoughts on my Aldi shop. So I got the majority of what I needed, but there were a couple items that I couldn't get. I couldn't get sour cream. I couldn't get pepperoni. We were out of pepperoni. I wanted to get that. I feel like there was a couple other things I didn't get that I wanted, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. I haven't been to Aldi in so long. And to be honest, now that we have a Lidl here and I've gone there a good amount, Aldi does not compare to Lidl. Like Lidl is just so much better in my opinion. I will say I spent $81, so well under my goal of 100. So I was super happy about that. I think we got a decent amount of food for what we paid for. But I just think the store now that I've been in a Lidl, Lidl's so much bigger. And Aldi wasn't super busy when I was there, but just because the store was smaller, it seemed congested like it just seemed hard to move around and there were people and they, it was really picked over too like I mean I got a good amount of stuff but there were definitely things they were out of like again no sour cream they were just completely out of it um there were lots of empty shelves luckily I got the majority of my stuff and I'm happy about that but I just foresee myself like in the future going a little more I will say I do like all these baking section a lot I love their 
cake mixes and brownie mixes and I actually didn't pick up any of those ironically which I'll probably regret later on but again trying to like control my sweet intake and not buy a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna bake but I mean that's kind of my overall thoughts I, I got the stuff I needed I'm glad that I got it done and we have everything we need for Sunday, so that's good. But I think I'm a Lidl girl now. I just love Lidl so much. If you guys like shopping and grocery hauls, I hope you'll check out some of my other videos. I have an entire playlist dedicated to grocery hauls. I just did a Trader Joe's haul. I'll link that for you guys. And I hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video today. I post lots of other interesting lifestyle content. And my life is adventure, again, just almost got stranded on a boat in the Chesapeake Bay. Just, just another Friday night, you know. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!